Hey everyone, it's Pete from Shopify. In this video, we're gonna show you how to set up your HyperWallet account. You'll use this account to connect your PayPal or bank account to receive any payouts you earn as a Shopify partner. For any links to the relevant help guides and resources mentioned in this video, check out the description below. First, you'll need to log in to your partner dashboard. From there, click on settings in the left menu. Scroll down to the payout section and click on manage payout method. Before choosing the payout method, you'll need to create a HyperWallet account. Here, we'll see a link in the HyperWallet terms of service, so be sure to check it out. Once ready, we can begin filling in the form. The first field gives us an important choice. Here, we choose if we are operating as a business or as an individual. If you operate as a business, this means you are one of multiple people who may be involved in its management and are authorized to act on behalf of the business. Alternatively, you could choose to identify as an individual, meaning you are the person solely responsible. Both of these will require you to provide identity verification details and Shopify will send you an email with instructions that will let you know when this is needed. You will also see a banner in your partner dashboard. Once we have chosen our business type, we could fill out the rest of the fields with contact info, business name, and business address. Once filled in, we can click on submit. Next, we get the option to select our payout region and currency. This will determine our available payout methods. Shopify payouts are always issued in USD. However, you could choose to receive your final payouts in another currency. Please note, currency conversion fees may apply. After we've made that choice on payout currency and region, we could choose our payout method. This will give us another form where we will fill out the fields with appropriate account information. If we did choose business instead of individual, our payout options will give us the ability to enter information for an account owned by the business contact or the business itself. Finally, we click on submit, finishing our setup. Keep in mind, we can only have one payout method active at a time. If we do need to change this later, we can always navigate back and make any necessary updates. At this point, we should receive an email from Shopify verifying our chosen payout method. And there you have it. If you have any further questions, be sure to visit help.shopify.com. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.